Hello, welcome back. It's Fred up in the shack and another little pocket radio to look at. That this time, Recates have been very kind to send in to me to review. This is the HR11S. Um, branded as an emergency or a travel radio, I think that's probably due to all the different charging options that we'll have a look at in a moment, but a very nice little compact radio. Now, there's a lot of features that this radio has. It's, it's, it's absolutely jam-packed with features, but let's see if I can do it in a nutshell, and then we'll look at those in more detail. Firstly, it's an FM, AM, and shortwave. Yeah, it's got shortwave, a shortwave receiver has a built-in mp3 player and recorder so you can record your favorite radio stations or if you prefer buy the built-in microphone so you can take voice memos also it will double as a bluetooth speaker so you can stream music or in my case audio books from your phone also along with bluetooth music it will do hands-free on your phone as well you can accept a phone call and using the built-in microphone you can use it as a speakerphone which I think is pretty amazing it's quite small I'm hoping that comes out on the video it's 126 millimeters by 62 by 43 and it's also quite light 255 grams with the built-in lithium iron battery I think the battery is worth a mention it's a BL5C 3.7 lithium yeah these were known very much as the Nokia battery and the good thing about these is they are cheap as chips on eBay so if you was thinking of going away on your travels you can easily pick up a couple of these batteries beforehand charge them up and you should have days worth of use from the radio not that charging the battery is going to be a problem now you can charge this to a traditional way you get a little USB to mini mini C C uh, lead there in in the box so you can charge it by your 5 volt phone charger it also as you can see has a solar solar cell on top of the radio so if you leave it in the sunshine you should be able to put some charge in the battery but then finally which I think makes this radio quite unique it's got a tiny little built-in hand crank here can you see that and although it is a little bit fragile it is a bit fragile but you're able to charge the radio and if I turn this round to prove that it's working if you look at the little LED there on the front of the radio can you see that? you're able to charge the radio from the hand crank and it doesn't stop there because although you can charge this built-in battery it also has an output as well so you can connect the USB lead and you're able to charge perhaps your mobile phone you could run accessories from this if you was on holiday for example one of those little cheap USB calling fans and uh, yeah I think that's absolutely absolutely a fantastic sort of feature certainly good for a holiday radio has a built-in flashlight as well on the top there pretty bright this one um, no complaints there from the, the flashlight. Again, that's very useful. Also, the emergency function has a flashing red warning light. Could be quite useful, uh, even as if you break down somewhere in a car or something. Certainly set that up. Again, that's pretty bright. And finally, it has an emergency siren function. I'm just, <laughs> it's pretty loud as well. I'm just going to turn it on. Um, if you were maybe female, for example, and you're traveling alone, camping, something like that, yeah, this does give you a little bit of extra security. Let me just demonstrate that. Wow. <laughs> I think, that's, I think that's enough of that. My ears, ears are ringing. But again, you know, not probably not for everyone, but certainly a nice built-in safety feature. And then finally, the radio has a built-in clock and also an alarm, so it can get you up in the morning as well. Not that you perhaps want that if you're away on holiday. As for the radio side, like I said, it's uh, medium wave FM, stereo, and short wave as well. You've got three types of tuning options. If you know your radio station, you can directly enter them in by the unit numerical keypad there. Or there's the more traditional manual tune. Um, it is a digital tune, unfortunately. I would have preferred a tuning wheel, but you can just manually tune your stations in if you know the frequency. And then finally, there's auto tune, where you just hold the button down and release it, and now the radio will tune, and yeah, it will just stop 
on the stronger radio stations and then if you like you just one button press you can add those to memory there is also an auto memory function that you may want to use whereupon you can just leave the radio let it tune all the way through the frequency band and it will set every radio station that it finds automatically into memory right let's have a little look around this radio we'll start with the front that's where it's all going on a lot of buttons on the front of the radio obviously for the direct tuning for the radio setting the clock things like that some of these buttons are also dual function uh, built-in equalizer for the mp3 files things like that display itself it's yeah it's not too bad it's a nice size it's just plain lcd it is backlit so you'd be able to sort of see that at night little small speaker on the left hand side now what i'll say about reticest products in the past is they all do sound particularly nice they have a very very clear sound they do seem to sort of spend a little bit more money on the quality of the speaker and that's just, that's a good thing because so many other generic products will just chuck any cheap speaker they can find that will fit into the radio it's all cost 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 um yeah i've been impressed so far with reticest products this one I think it's pretty much going to be the same thing. It's a good quality speaker. Uh, I have had this radio on just previously, and one thing I shall say, it, you don't get a great deal of bass from a very small speaker, but you can feel the resonance in the body when you're playing music, which I can't really show you on this video, but when you're playing music, you actually feel the vibration through the radio, which uh, is showing that the speaker is certainly doing its job. Moving on to this side, we have the 5 volt USB output, like I say, for charging your phone, running small devices that you've switched on and off. Then there's the SD, micro SD memory card slot for playing MP3 audio tracks, audio books, things like that. Above that is the mini USB, that's for charging the built in lithium ion battery. And then finally, we have a headphone socket, which is a STEM telescopic antenna. Um, not a bad length, seeing as the size of the radio certainly will bring in the stronger fm station also doubles as a shortwave antenna as well but as i've mentioned on other videos if you would say going out to do say camping on the outside just take a coil a single coil of wire any wire will do and if you attach that to the antenna and you string that wire up maybe in a tree a bush whatever you'll find that on shortwave it will bring in a lot more stations and it can be quite fun to take one of these out into the bush if you like and listen and do hear for a little bit of DX here for some of those short so there's a lot going on with this radio but thankfully it's quite easy to work out we just got the basic menu options here we can go through you can see there's the radio music Bluetooth text browser which is quite interesting I haven't tried that and then system settings once we go in here, we can control things like the back backlight, the language, tools, uh, contrast of the display. We can update the firmware. We store factory settings, exit, etc. So yeah, so it, there's a lot going on, but it is fairly easy to understand. Once you've set these parameters, like the contrast and things, you probably won't be touching that to make uh, curries before or and you can make yogurt from it as well um i mean is there anything wrong with that look we've not done any scientific research into that ourselves um so i'd want to have done the research before advising people that that was the right thing to do okay um and just finally really important question ruth has this divided your household used by dates what's the policy in your house right there, right there. Oh, right there. nadia on the show hey nadia Hello. What do you do? How are we? Um, I'm a category manager for a magazine distribution company. Oh, and where do you live? Um, I live in yes. Heathrow. So on our last night, we all had dinner and drinks. He walked me back to my hotel room. Um, so nothing untoward on this occasion. We just had a little kiss. All it was was a little kiss. Ah. Um, came back home. We kept in touch. Um, it was one of those kind of regretful, you know, more didn't happen type scenario. Um, so actually, one of my colleagues that I went with, we actually became really good friends Hi, on the trip. Hi Tina, thanks for having me. Oh, you're very welcome. It's great to talk to you. Um, am I right in saying you've had you, you haven't had a sense of smell or taste for four years? Yes, that's it. I had a very nasty chest infection. So we thought, oh, we can't really have lunch. We're not really very hungry. But there was a big glass viewing that you could go and see. So as we walked past, um, past with a glass, Shamu was there, GP and medical director of primary care in England. COVID-19 is still with us. 
So it's good that 12 to 15 year olds can now get a second COVID-19 vaccine. Vaccines give your children the best possible protection against the virus and help to keep them in school. But he's in plush apartments, oh, yeah. and, and, and fair enough. <laughs> I did. It, it may. I mean, it may be smart, but he's had to live with cockroaches. I mean, even. Yeah, I know. I think he, he got limited sympathy for not being allowed his private chef in the uh, in the immigrant. Mai exact pe site-ul webrerei.ro, precum și în rețeaua Facebook pe profilul Radio România Internațional. 2021 a fost un an de creștere pentru întreaga piață de recrutare în domeniul medical românesc. În ciuda... Yeah, so overall, very, very impressed with the radio's performance. Um, a slight criticism is the auto-tuning. I thought it was a little bit coarse. It picked up the stronger signals, no problem. Some of the weaker stations that occasionally I like to listen to, I just had to manually tune them in. Not a biggie, but it could have been a bit more sensitive. But once again, the audio quality on the radio, really, really good. This tiny little speaker, really punching, really punching above its weight, no distortion, you can turn it almost up to its maximum volume, uh, very loud, no distortion, a little bit of bass, a little bit of resonance um, so for the size, you, you can't complain, it's a shame that I can't play you any music from the radio itself, uh, because it does sound really, really good, so yeah, absolutely great. I'm going to now test the mp3 player, I've put in an SD card, I've been able to download some free YouTube music and uh, I shall put the lapel microphone close to the speaker and uh, let's have a look how that sounds. One thing that you notice straight away, I've got the volume turned down at the moment, it's got a look a graphic equaliser sort of display there which is quite good and it is is representing the music, the bass on the left, treble on the right, but uh, yeah, there's a lot going on in the display. It's displaying all of the tracks there, the track information. It's also scrolling across the text, which is quite good at this price level. But let's turn this up and see what it sounds like. Isn't that a really nice mellow sound? It's 
got a really nice sound to it. Um, I, I wish I could demonstrate it, but when you hold it, you can really feel that bass resonating through the body of the radio. So yeah, really, really nice sound there on the MP3. I like the display as well with a little graphic equaliser. Okay, next thing, I, I've already connected this to my iPhone now, so let's just play a little bit of uh, Bluetooth through it. I'm going to play an audio book through it like I would normally listen to, and let's see how it sounds. Audion Player Society, she said, scribbling fast. Is there something wrong with it? Yes, the punctuation. There isn't any. I think we might have to order an extra box of commas. Why are you bothering with it then? 26... And there you go. Uh, works pretty flawlessly there with my iPhone. Um, again, very nice, clear audio. And uh, yeah, abs absolutely great. I could probably use that if I was going on holiday just to relax there and my, save myself, listen to an audio book or perhaps a little bit of music. Going to bring this one to a close. Without a doubt, it gets a thread in the shed. Thumbs up. Just on the audio quality alone, I think sells the radio. It does does for me anyway. I will leave buying links if you're interested for directly to the record test site. Now, I would recommend using those links. I'm not saying that because I'm not on any commission. I'm on no kickback. It was kind enough they sent me the radio. But there is a lot of counterfeit radios around these days on eBay and also on Amazon. So make sure you get the genuine product and you won't be disappointed. Hopefully, Record S will send me some new toys to play with in the future and we can do some more reviews. But as for now, as always, thanks for your view time. Give the video the thumbs up if it's helped you. If you've enjoyed it, I appreciate that. Please, please, please stay safe and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys.